Hey, what's up, everybody? Your boy JC. Everyday Thoughts is in the building. Everybody gather around. How's everybody doing today? And your boy, Hi. your boy Terrence is in the house today. How y'all doing today? Introduce everybody about yourself. You know, uh, I'm I, I, I'm Terrence. Y'all y'all have met me before. Y'all see me here before. Um, you call me King Terrence if you if you prefer. But um, today we're talking about do black men prefer light skinned women over dark skinned women? And this, this right here, the reason that we even have to have this shows that our people have a psychological issue. Okay. Why do I say that? There's not a difference between light skin and dark skin. The fact that you would pick somebody over their skin pigmentation shows that you are mentally enslaved by what this culture is saying, what the standard of beauty is. Yeah. What's going on, uh, Tina? What's going on, Nina? What's going on, everybody? How's everybody day going? But yeah, though, I mean, like I said, for me personally, I don't really discriminate. Uh, I love all black women. All black women are queens. And like you said, you know, black women are for grown men only, you know? Black, men, black women are for grown men only. And part of that light skin and dark skin thing comes from media. Media is saying that light skinned girls are better than dark skinned girls. Dark skinned girls are better than light skinned girls. Y'all listen to these songs that have y'all competing to win. There's no difference in between the queen. It's the, it matters about the heart. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, the heart, the heart does make, make a difference and a lot of times. You know, you can't really look at people's skin tone. You know, you got to look at the heart, the queen inside. But as far as for me, like I said, I mean, I can't refer anything but a black woman. I never dated outside my race, so. Never you know. outside my race. I believe, when we say that, we believe in race. We're not racist. We believe in race preservation. We believe in financial preservation. Once you marry somebody of another race, that money does not go to you and your spouse or your community anymore. Period. So do you have? Do you think you can be pro-black and date outside of marry outside your race? I don't think. First of all, when you use the word pro-black, when you say the word, when you say I'm pro-black, you cannot date somebody outside of your race. I'm sorry to say that today. You cannot say I'm pro-black. The first thing about being pro-black is the black part. If you're pro-black and you preach pro-blackness and you have a white woman on your side, you have done your step of, you have done you and your people a great injustice. And my thing is, she don't know your struggle. She don't know how to relate to you, you know? Hey, plus ch size chocolate What's queen. What's going on, Destiny? What's going I just, on? Just all coming and... What'd you say? Oh, she was saying, I'm a plus size chocolate queen. Oh, oh amen to that. No doubt. No doubt. What's going on with Kadara, Annie, uh, Tammy? What's going on, everybody? But yeah, though, like I said, man, I love I love black women, dark skin, light skin. You know, I don't really have a flavor. I don't really have no preference, you know? Whatever. Me, I don't, I generally, I like to know that my person is black. So, yes, I do have a preference. Mine is not a colonial slave present. I like for my person to be a, the same, about the same hue of brown that I am. Yeah. Or darker. Yeah. I, the reason, the reason for that, again, I want, when I step out in public, for it to be, my person is black. My wife is black. I don't want them to confuse me being with a Puerto Rican woman, me being with a white woman, nobody. I want them to know that I'm with a black woman. Yeah. Her hair nappy, hair in locks, love all of that. Love all of that. So when I step out, I step out with a black queen. Yeah, I mean, you got to love the black queen, you know. Like I said, natural, whether she has a weave, the sense, she's still the queen, you know. I don't know about that one, Jonathan. Do y'all know about that? I, I, you prefer I natural? I prefer, I prefer, again, preferences. Okay. I prefer I prefer natural. Okay. I believe you have a better self. I like the woman, woman that's proud of her blackness. You can't wear Korean fingernails, Indian Remy hair, and the Chinese makeup and everything else and then say, I'm a proud black woman. You got everything but a but You don't look like a black woman. Well, they, they, stole that, they stole that culture from us, though. They did steal that culture from us, but yeah. we do it as a form of hate. As in saying that our hair is not straight enough. 
if our hair was meant to grow straight, it would grow straight. Well, the thing about it, we glorify that type of behavior as far as other races, though. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, we talk about the Puerto Rican woman. Even though they they wear they wear the weaves woman. too, like, but they why do. we why we keep sanitizing the black woman though? I believe the black woman should look inside herself and find her own inner beauty, which she does have. Again, sisters, if your hair was meant to grow straight, it would grow straight. If your hair doesn't grow straight, I don't believe you should be, should change your look to make the Europeans <coughs> happy. Okay. Um, Fedora said, I used to be, what's it called? Superficial. And look at light-skinned men over dark-skinned men. But I will date any man that would treat me good. I couldn't care less if he was light. Dark, biracial, any man. Oh, yeah. Color does. You're definitely right on that, sister. Color does not mean it's not a degree of goodness. A sister can be high yellow, fine, all the stuff that you like, but then treat you like shit. Yeah. Period. Yeah. But then you can have a dark-skinned sister just as dark as she want to be and then treat you so sweet. Yeah. And I've had it happen. I've had it happen. Both sides. I've had it happen. I mean, I just don't like the fact that they say, you know, black women are bitter, black women are always angry, etc. I like those stereotypes, you know, like... But th th those are the black women that they're meeting. You can't tell somebody what their opinion is, but we know yeah. what the black woman is going through. Yeah. And now it's up to us. If you're a black man with something bad to say about a black woman, you write that shit down and you give it to your mama. Exactly. Or your Periods. aunties. Or your, your, or your grandma. Yeah, because there's no reason to, to sit here and just, you know... That's, what you, that's where you came from. Yeah. How, how how you gonna talk about where you came from? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, she's no good. Oh, all black women are thoughts. She was talking about your mother as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's so funny. We, we so talk about other people's races, but we don't never talk deep inside our own house, you know? It's like, why are you gonna sit there and talk mess about you know, black women and stuff, you know? Exactly, exactly. That don't make too much sense. It doesn't, you know? it doesn't make sense. We're the only group of men that will go on national TV and talk about how bad our women are. You have a guy called D.L. Hughley. He made, a, he made far too many comments for me to watch his show about black women, negative comments about black women. Yeah, and then also, too, you know, they're talking about, you know, they got to be strong and independent. A lot of them don't have a choice but be wait, strong wait, wait. Strong and independent. When I hate to see brothers around here asking for a strong and independent woman. What are you, not a man? Yeah. What does, what does a strong brother need with an independent woman? In interdependency, that's what you want. Y'all right. work together. Work together. Yeah. But when I hear these brothers talking about they want a strong black woman, bro, you the one that's supposed to be strong. What you going to do if I she mean, got all the strength? I mean, you kind of do want that Coretta Scott, Michelle Obama type woman on your side, though. You know, when you're not feeling 100%, you know. But when brothers say they want a strong black woman, they want a, they want somebody to help pay half of their rent, Jonathan. You said pay half their rent? Yeah. That's what they what, that's what most brothers mean. They want an independent woman. They want a sister that's going to come in there and pay half the rent for them. I mean, the basic thing you want to Because they have, they have a problem as men doing it themselves. Yeah. See, if it was something... I, I've said this a while back. If a lot of guys could get Section 8, a lot of women wouldn't have men. Period. If guys could get Section 8, a lot of women out there would not have men because they would come to find out they need something from them. They're not in a relationship necessarily for the want of another person. They're in a relationship for financial needs, sexual needs, yeah. something that they can't provide for themselves. That's what I'm saying. But you'll meet the real, real person you're supposed to be with when you have everything that you need. Yeah. Not when your relationship can't start off with you and need. If you always need, 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 what does she need you for? That's what I was saying. She don't want another dependent, you know? Facts, facts. She don't want another child to raise. She don't need somebody else to put on their taxes and stuff, you know? Oh, men can get Section 8? I did not know yeah, that. No, no, they can. Yeah, they, yeah, they can. I did not know that. Look, it tells you I've never had Section 8, so I don't know about that. I had to hustle to go get mine. Thank oh, what's going on, Khadija? What's going on? Me, Khadija, what's going on? Um, let's read some of these comments real quick. Oh, man, it's crazy today. Um, you want to read it? You said if a person goes out of their race, they did a injustice to their race. My <coughs> mother is half black and half Spanish. My father, BBN, is half white and half black. So what's my race? You're black. Yeah, you're black. black. I, and let me say, let me let me say something, sister. Anytime there's no such thing as mix with mix with black. If you have one ounce of black in you, that makes you black. Yeah. 
Have you never noticed on job applications or when you go when you go, they don't say, are you mixed on the application? They ask, are you black? Are you white? Are you this? Yeah. If you tell somebody that my my father or whoever is half black, you're considered as black. Black is black. It doesn't matter what you add to it. Black is black. European Americans see us as black, and they know that we're black. And as soon as you tell people about that one ounce of blackness, you're you're officially black. Yeah, like I said, there's black. no such thing as mixed people. I hate to see people say I'm I'm a mixed person. You're black. Okay. And a lot of Hispanic people, let me say this, I'm Haitian myself. A lot of Spanish people are black. I lived in New York with my where my friend, his grandfather, dark skinned men, darker than me, blue eyes. So in my opinion, you speak another language, but you're still black. Yeah. Whether you speak French, whether you speak in Creole, you're black. The only difference between a Hispanic person and your so-called black person of America is the boat trip. The boat that we got off of. You didn't get off the boat in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> you didn't get off the boat in Mexico. You didn't get off the boat wherever, whatever Spanish country that you name. You didn't get off the boat there. So you don't speak Spanish. You happen to get off the boat over here in America, so that's just how it is. We black. All right, let's read a few more before we got to go. In order to get that Coretta or Michelle, they need to be Martin or Barack, and chances are they're nowhere near that level. Yeah, you're right about that. I mean, brothers, we just got to step it up all levels, mentally, physically, financially. Well, you can't, you can't out there wanting to. This goes for both sides. You can't out there be looking out there looking for Obama. Yeah. And you, you Kanisha from the projects, having nine, 19 kids with every guy that comes by. Keep, keep, keep the legs closed. Fellas, you can't be out there looking for Michelle Obama and you around here being Pookie and Rary with five different baby mamas and all these charges and you can't get no job and she got to take care of you. Something got to match. Something has to match. In order for you to get what you get what you want, you have to be what you want. Already, you want a good person, and you're not a good person. You're not gonna find nobody good. No, you not. And if you keep if you keep picking these same people, and you say women ain't shit, men ain't shit, the problem is you. Yeah, really you, you, you keep picking the same exact person to be with. It's you. Yeah, you got to raise your conscience level. You have to. Mindset. You have to look for more than just the physical attraction. You got to, after you have sex with somebody, ask yourself this question. We had sex together. Before, after we have sex together, what can we do after that? If, if you don't have an answer to what you can do after having sex, you don't need to be in that relationship. Nah, you're right about that. You said being equally yoked, what matters? Yeah, you're right about that. Being equally yoked? I, I disagree with that. So the reason I disagree with that, I'm married myself. Yep, he's taking ladies. I, me and my wife, we are we anything but equally yoked. First of all, I joke around. Uh, I'm I'm not serious at all. Even Try even each during it, come. Yeah, compliment each other. We do, we do. Yeah. Where I lack at, first of all, you can't be with somebody that reinforces your neg negative behavior. If you're with somebody that reinforces your negative behavior, you're not going to grow up as a person. You can't be with somebody that has the same weaknesses as you because that reinforces your weaknesses. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's go back to the topic as far as oh, yeah. black, black women. Now, black men choosing either light-skinned women over dark-skinned women. I just feel like it's just portrayed that way. It's, 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 it's been portrayed that way. I mean, look at what we listen to in the music. I want me a... Red bone, dick, red bone. Yeah, yeah. To open up, you know, yeah. that's how the music goes. And I don't hear a lot of songs talking about our dark chocolate sisters. I love y'all, okay? I love y'all. Yeah, you know, dark the darker chocolate. the better. My yeah. wife is a dark woman, okay? Let me say that. She's a dark woman. And she's a black woman with nappy hair, nappy locks. I love her nappy locks. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like I said, I don't, I don't have no preference. I mean, I say black is me. Black is the only way I go, so. Hey, Denise, me. what do you mean by equally yoked, Denise? What's going on, Omar? Explain what you mean by equally yoked. No, read, read uh, Ronnie. Ronnie said we are black we people. Need to, need to start, start claiming, claiming everyone, everyone else. 
have black ancestors, breeding out is one thing everyone wants to be black until stuff go down. You you right. You yeah. right. Everybody wanna be black when it worked for them. Everybody wanna be black when it worked for them. Everybody coffee officers though though. Exactly. Every culture every culture on this planet was started by a black person. Do y'all know that? Every <laughs> culture on this planet was started by a black person. Yeah. If you go to Mexico you see all mixed heads looking like black folks. If you go to if you go to Russia, you see you'll see the black queens and kings that used to be there. And if you go back even further than that to Seven Eleven, where they show white people how to take baths, go further than that. We we taught the world, but everybody pra- practices race preservation on a serious wealth and economic level, except for black people. And when I say practice race preservation, practicing race preservation on an economic level is having children and handing. Buildings, houses, businesses, ideals, religion, culture, handing that down to the children. The generational wealth. That's called racial preservation. You marry somebody black, you talk the stories of your culture to somebody black, and they're going to teach it to the next generation. You gave a building to somebody that's black. You gave a business to somebody that's black. That's to ensure that this is always in the family. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about as far as how black, you know, dark-skinned women are really portrayed as... Dark-skinned you know, women being, are not portrayed as being beautiful. Yeah, and they I, say... I don't, I don't understand It's just because it's ghetto or ratchet and ugly, you know, what's your take on that? Because for me personally, I mean, it just said how we look at our own queens and stuff. I mean, now, if a person is listening to a certain mu- type of music... And watching kind of TV. And watching that kind of TV, they're going to feel like they're ugly. They're going to feel like they're no good. Because there's no, there's no really no kind of like fairy tale where you see you know, black girls being praised. There's, there's not, they having a problem with black Barbies. And I don't even understand that. I don't understand that. There's no black superheroes on TV. And if our superheroes are black, well, we got them getting along with white folks. And we got them... I'm, that was a Black Panther thing, by the way. I didn't like that because they shouldn't have never let him in. But anyway, no matter what you watch, our heroes are not portrayed as even heroes. If you watch the movie Hancock, he was a drunk. Yeah. And then you also remember the TV show you used to say about how all the TV shows never portrayed oh, yeah. us. Every you know. TV show, this is either the father, <coughs> the father is missing, the kids are raising themselves, or... It's just total chaos through the whole thing. There's no positive black TV show that reinforce that being black is a good thing. Yeah, there's always something negative. You can't even go back to the, you know, I mean, you talk about Bill Cosby, but even him, he had his own. You're issues. right. You're right about that, um, Ronnie. Black folks make other black folks feel ugly. That's because, again, self hatred. Self hatred. If 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 I tell you. If I tell you every day that that dark skin of yours is ugly, that's what's going to sit in your mind. If I listen to a song, I, I work at a job. If I listen to a song about robbing a liquor store or robbing a bank, 365 a year, guess what I'm going to do on 357? I'm going to go rob that bank because that's, that's what stayed in my mind. And if you, if you, whatever you keep on your mind is, is your identity. It's how you feel about yourself. What you listening to? It's how you feel about yourself. If you listen to a song all day long, if these children are brought up listening to this horrible music, which we call rap today, yeah, and they listen to how dark skinned girls are ugly, and then they find them a fine red bone, they're gonna think dark skinned girls are ugly. That's why you gotta monitor what they what they listen to. But it's also up to the parents. Parents too. Yeah. You gotta teach them a a good self worth. Teach them about how we were kings and queens. Teach them about. How beautiful the black soul can be. Yeah. Because black, everything that's black is beautiful. Everything black is beautiful. Anything that's black is rich. You got white diamonds and then you got black diamonds. Black diamonds are worth more than white diamonds. How you doing? Jessica said, I'm a dark-skinned woman from Louisiana and I got all the black and other comments growing up. It wasn't until I graduated and moved away I started truly learning and loving me. You know, self self love is, is key. You it know? is. Even though it's tough to really not have it portray out there in the media, but you have to always have yourself. And we can't just blame it on the media. We have to start that within our own households. Yeah. You can't say your ugly black ass. I hate when I hear mamas say that to their children. Sit your black ass down. Sit your 
down. Right there, you're destroying that child's reality of themselves. You have to stop doing that. You have to stop doing that. The children must love to learn themselves. They must love to learn themselves. They must learn to love themselves. When they love themselves, it'll show. But a child that hates themselves, every time they stand up, sit your... Why, why, why do I need to sit my black ass down, Mom? <laughs> What's the problem with me being black? If I bleach my skin, will I be pretty then, Mom? Yeah, you got to really own, own who you are and own... You know, you being black, and you be proud Definitely. of it. You know, Definitely. And you got to be proud of your blackness. Because a lot of women that may be mixed, they would love to be black. They love to exactly. be in your shoes. But, Most people are getting tans to be darker. You, you, you understand this. People are getting tans <coughs> to be darker around the world. People are sitting in the sun trying to get the perfect brownness while you're complaining about how dark you are. To me, you put some oil on a dark-skinned woman, it ain't nothing like it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We got we to gotta start with training as black men because a lot of times we're the one that's a training that to our black sisters. You know, they're queens. You know, they're princesses. You know, they're not bitches and hoes. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And one thing we got to do with better as black men is actually encouraging them and making sure that they're on the right path. And we got to stop referring to them as bitches and hoes because they're not bitches and hoes. Queens, yeah. They're queens. Yeah. But they also need to stop referring to themselves as bitches and hoes. Stop letting other women call you my. You're yeah, not, you're I'm, not, I, I'm a bad. You know, I'm a bad. You're not a bad you know, bitch. You know what my, I mean? I, I have a. Y'all know what? I have a bad bitch. We keep. I keep them. I keep them in a crate, twenty four seven. Cause the bad bitch will get up and tear my whole house up. That's the bad bitch I have. But you should not deal with a man that does <coughs> not know the difference between a bad bitch and a woman. If he doesn't know the difference between a bad bitch and a woman. You need to exit out of that relationship. Yeah, make sure you treat you like a queen, treat you with respect. You know, not, not talking at you, not talking down to you. What you accept not the is what will continue to happen. If you accept him being late, coming inside the house any times of the night, that's what's going to happen. You accept him cheating two and three times, he's going to cheat again. That's why you got to have... This woman is... He going to think in his head, oh, this woman is dumb. That's why you I got, would do it again. That's why you got to have standards. Just like you go to your job, they have rules and regulations. You gotta have the same way your relationship. And standards are different from expectations. Expectations and standards. A standard. This is how you want it, no matter who you're talking to. Expectations. I might not reach your expectations. This person might not reach your expectations. Expectations, but a standard. That's something. That's like a policy. That's like something you can, you can ingrain. And this is, you don't go below this, and you don't go below above that. Yeah. Standard is how you how you know you want to be treated. How your daddy treated you as a child. Hopefully, I hope most of your dads treated y'all women well. But if not, the way that you want to be treated on the inside. Somebody's not treating you the way you want to be treated. Why are you around for it? And then also, too, it's all about self-care. Don't so much worry about your image on the you outside. Got, you got to you love got, yourself. You got to love yourself inside. You got to love yourself first. Yeah. Before JC can love you. You got to love yourself. <laughs> you got to love yourself, baby. Yeah. You ain't going to be able to hear nothing he's saying until you love yourself. Yeah, you got to love yourself. Uh, you also said never allow anyone to be comfortable with respect. Exactly. That's facts. And remember, there's no expiration date on disrespect. You disrespect me, there's no expiration date on it at all. Change yourself on elegant, intelligent, and sexy. And tell yourself that in the mirror every day, Miss Every day, yeah. Every day. Look at yourself and tell yourself. There's so many that, women that, 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 is don't know that they don't know that word. They don't know that they're queens, you know? And let me tell y'all something about us men. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to. Um, you got to go. Yeah. Y'all do not, we do not lead y'all. Did, did, did y'all know that? We don't lead y'all. You, you, you look at me like, why am I saying that, yeah, right, what JC? You mean? What you mean? We don't lead them. Women have never led men nowhere. Where have we led them to? Where have we led them to? The king size, man. What? The bed side. Not, the, not, not, not to the king, not to the king, not, not to the court, court side. The queen. We need information from our queens working together. It's not, when the re reason I say we don't lead y'all, we need y'all help to lead. We cannot lead by ourselves. No man on this planet, including Nimrod has ever led by himself. We need your intuition. We need your encouragement. We need your motivation. We need your sexiness. 
We need your smile. We need all of that to lead. We need everything that you that you have to lead. If you want a man to lead you, he needs everything that you have to be able to be a good leader. He needs all of your support. And also, now that that's if you're dealing with a man. And also too, you gotta be able to do that vice versa for her too. Exactly. You know, if you like when her, make sure she's doing good too. We're not just on one sided. Men do not lead. For the men. And I'm gonna say it again: men do not lead by themselves. They need a strong woman in order to lead. Men cannot lead, and sisters, black brothers, we can't do it without our sisters. No. We can't. You're, you're crazy thinking that you can't. Every rapper that's ever got on, guess what? Before Future got got, got five, I'm, I'm from Atlanta in here. So before he got five, guess what? Baby mama was letting him ride that Honda Civic down there to the studio. Without that Honda Civic to get his behind all the way from Riverdale to that studio, he wouldn't have got there making that music. Baby mamas, no, women, say, y'all, right? y'all, are, y'all are it. Y'all behind, are it. behind a good man is a, is a great woman. So. Exactly, exactly. We, so need, yeah, though, we need y'all. Yeah, like I said, we need y'all. We got to do better in supporting y'all and um, do a better job in every area. But yeah, though, we got to wrap it up real quick. Uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in. Make sure y'all share this video. And remember to love yourself. If nobody else don't love you, love yourself. Exactly, you know. And then the rest will follow. Once somebody sees that in you, that you love yourself, how you treat yourself, because I don't want a person that doesn't take care of themselves. What can I do with you if you don't take care of yourself? Exactly. So, yeah, like I said, I want to close it out. Everybody, y'all tune in. JC, everything thoughts, JC. Uh, you know, make sure y'all share it. Make sure y'all like my channel. And, um, you know, that's what I do. And we will be back here to drop more knowledge on you, more information, more tips. Remember, though, Big thing y'all take away from this. Love yourself. You cannot, nobody can show you the same love that you show yourself. Stop waiting for somebody to love you more than you love yourself. Yeah, it starts with self. It starts with a person in the mirror, you know. Well, yeah, though, I got to end it real quick, you know. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. And just because you're single as a dollar don't mean you got to be loose as change. <laughs> All right, y'all. Right, love y'all. Right. One is... <laughs> Black power. <laughs>